Somebody thought you was slow, honey. Okay? They thought you was slow. Yes, they did. Somebody told them, you don't need to fuck with her. She's slow. She don't know what she's talking about. She ain't all there. Okay? They really tried to rag on you to this person. But... They have realized how intelligent, intellectual, in tune you are. And now this person wants to pursue you. This may be for a professional opportunity. I hope you all are doing good at this time. I didn't do my little intro, but thank you so much for your support of Mommy Wata Taro. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe. We are in the ebb energy of the channel currently. Around this time, every year for about two years now, my channel goes through this attack where specific people want to talk shit about marine spirits and try to say Mommy Wata evil. This is the second time one person in particular has done this. They did it around Gemini cancer season last year, right before I went to Brazil, okay? And they're doing it again trying to create some sort of hate campaign for my channel. But baby, I understand ebb and flow is cool. Look, creating illusions about who I am and what I represent. This is, they, they do, it's like, what is their MO? Because they did this same shit, okay, around this time last year now. But... As long as I'm doing what the Most High God has ordered me to do, I'm not worried about none of that, honey. And there is some energy, like in the reading I put out earlier, that people keep trying to project negative energy onto innocent entities. That's going to come back on them. Okay? Moving on. This person is in that same energy. That This person is in that same energy. They regret in what they didn't said about you because they listened to somebody who said that you was slow, that you was incapable somehow. So Holy Spirit, what else do you need to know about this? Yes, they did now. And they want to pursue you, but it's some energy like, do you know what they've said about you? When they were believing this third party. So Holy Spirit, what else? Here, please and thank you. Does the collective need to know? From you through me at this time. Holy Spirit, what do we need to know? Six of Cups. In the past, this person had an option. To pursue you, okay? To be a part of their business. Their project. Their group. Their organization. Okay? But somebody was like, no, nah, you don't need to choose them. They ain't that good. They ain't that well put together. They don't really know nothing. I think they kind of slow. Knight of Pentacles. We've been watching this person for a while, and they just don't fit into what we're about, what we're trying to do, what we stand for. A king of swords told this hyphen energy that about you. Even though this hyphen energy had took notice of you and was watching you as well. It's something like, I just heard code switching, okay? Like, like you know how to be in this hyphen upright rigid morally correct energy you know how to speak correctly or you know talk that talk when it's time but i don't think you choose to reside in that energy you are just being your true authentic self you may have an accent you may like to use slang it's something about how you present yourself verbally 
that this king of swords is not in approval of and he was able to convince this hierophant energy that you were too unrefined we're gonna say unrefined eight of wands that you wasn't quick enough something about you being slow and unrefined that was not gonna allow you to be a good match for whatever this hierophant was considering you for okay but i'm telling you they sing in a different tune now clarify knight of swords this hierophant realizes that this king of swords was just hating on you that he didn't like you okay so he took this action this ambitious ambitious action to try to stop this hierophant from connecting with you he noticed king of swords was just hating on you because you a whole queen of pentacles Okay, you do have what it takes to be a part of this group. You do have that good business acumen, that common sense, that intellect. You got a good head on your shoulders coming out here as the queen of pentacles. It ain't nothing slow about you, okay? You know, and that's one thing I used to say on my channel, too. I was picking that up. Shit, I was picking that up about this time last year. You know, people trying to talk trash because I channel slow at times, but that's because I'm listening to understand, not just to relay what I'm hearing, okay? I ain't gonna just be saying anything unless I'm understanding what the Holy Spirit is saying to me to, to relay to y'all. So, no, nah, I'm not going to rush through no message and be talking fast because like I t said on my channel before, them people that talk fast, them the ones we was raised and told to watch, them fast talkers, because they trying to get over on your ass, okay? So, it's something like that here, too. You don't talk that fast. You could be from the South. But this King of Swords wanted to try to say that you were not intellectual, that you were not refined, that you were not on the up and up because of how you present yourself verbally, how you communicate. And it's been proven that you definitely somebody that you should do business with, that you do good business. That how you operate, being your true authentic self works for you. And that they restricted themselves from a good thing. This King of Swords did that on purpose, though. He didn't want you to be a part of this Hierophant group. Why, Holy Spirit? No, not why. But what was the opportunity? It was going to put you on the top of the wheel. But what we see is, is that you already sitting in abundance on your own. Okay. So him trying to stop this for you ain't really stop your ability to succeed, to have success. Because you still sitting on top of the wheel, whether you were sitting there because of an opportunity from them or you sitting there because of opportunities you've created for yourself. And this Hierophant sees that. What was this opportunity though, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. High Priestess in reverse, child, then came out here. This Hierophant saw you as a divine feminine, saw you as an asset, someone who had intel, who had divine knowledge. But this King of Swords said that you were the opposite, that you were actually messy, that you don't be knowing with this High Priestess in reverse, that whatever insight and guidance that you have is 
the result of you manipulating something, like sneaking around to get your knowledge to find out what you know as opposed to it just coming to you naturally, is something about your wisdom and guidance. He feels like you're misguided here. But this hierophant felt like you were truly tapped in, that you were on the level of this organization and that you could have contributed some sort of, you could have been some sort of consultant or advisor to this hierophant. What else, Holy Spirit? Mm -mm. But he didn't listen to his own self. He listened to this King of Swords. And now this man is disappointed that he didn't jump on the opportunity to partner with you when he could have. He had the wrong perception of you. Page of Pentacles. Because I'm telling you, whatever this consulting energy is that he wanted to offer you, some sort of position as, an, as a consultant, an advisor of some kind here. That's what this hierophant wanted you for. And this King of Swords was like, nah, you don't need to take no advice from her. She's slow. She don't know what she's talking about. Them seeds she's sowing ain't going to produce no long-term cornucopia or positive result for us. But time has told a different story, honey. Okay? Possibly about seven months ago, this hyphen energy wanted to give you this offer. Y'all hear that dog? And that's how this King of Swords started yelping about the possibility of you coming on board. Look, I'm telling you, man, he was damn stuttering, boy. Did you hear me? He was stuttering when this hyphen told him that he wanted to give you an offer with this page of wands. This Libra energy, he was like, oh, no, I got to balance this shit the way that I want it to go because I don't want this Queen of Pentacles to be nowhere up around me. And he cut that shit. I'm telling you, he talked about you bad now. Said you was country. Some kind of shiftless, unrefined energy. Like you slow. Like you don't know nothing. Like you ain't got no intellect and common sense. And I'm telling you, time has told a totally different story here. You might got more damn sense than this King of Swords. But you're right there with him when it comes to intellect and intelligence. And that's why he didn't want you to be a consultant. Because he felt threatened. Okay? Code switching or not, you ain't got a code switch for people to know and understand that you are in this hyphen energy, that you do know what you're talking about, that you do got an upright understanding of things, that you are intelligent. Your accent, the slang you use, whether you want to Talking Ebonics or not, don't matter. If you know what the hell you talking about and what you saying is correct, okay? And see, that's what this hierophant has awakened to about you. That, that shit that King of Swords was talking about, that shit don't even matter at the end of the day because you being your true authentic self is still bringing you success, prosperity, and stability, even though this King of Swords swore that it would. And I'm telling you, time and told it. This man been watching you for about seven months. This Hierophant energy. Five of Wands tried to come out. Five of Swords is on the bottom. Because see, it's some beef now. Because you've, you've continued to move forward in life and do your thing. How you do it. And you winning. And this hyphen is like, damn, if I would have brought her on as a consultant with this queen of swords right up under the hyphen, I might be winning more than I am. 
We could be winning together. Clarify, Holy Spirit. That's his energy now. Seven of Swords. But I'm trying to damn fuck with this King of Swords who really is being dishonest and deceitful because he don't like this Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. And he didn't trick me up out of a, a prosperous collaboration. And this King of Swords is in the Nine of Swords because I'm telling you this Hierophant is reconsidering the partnership with them. This person could be like a, a Libra Scorpio cusp, but they in the tower in the Nine of Swords because their, their level of advise, advisement here has caused this Hierophant to be in the tower. Not just because he didn't choose to bring you on like he initially wanted, but it's some sort of flagrant action that this King of Swords has taken or advised this hyphen to take that wasn't right. Okay? That's also why he looking at him differently because he was some sort of advisor to this hyphen as well. And something he communicated to this Hierophant to do got him in the tower. It wasn't a good move. And this Hierophant is like, if I would have had this Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles on my team, maybe I would have made a different choice. Mm. I would have had true mental clarity. And I wouldn't be facing this Five of Wands, Four of Pentacles energy that I'm in now because of some action that I took listening to this King of Swords. That's what's going on right now, okay? So he wondering what would have been the outcome if you would have been there to advise him to give consultation and change the outcome. He thinking about that now and he thinking about how he can pursue you now. But it is some energy like I'm not going to say this Hierophant has been out here saying anything negative about you, but this King of Swords has. It's almost like in addition to telling this Hierophant that you were not worthy of this offer, this King of Swords was also spreading something here about you to stop you from being considered in that light at all. Clarify, Holy Spirit. That's why this did backfired on him. Four of Wands, King of Cups. This is that King of Swords. Child. This man then went around to a community of individuals who possibly were also looking at you in some sort of way. Like this Hierophant is given a masculine energy in particular that's over some sort of business organization or network, okay? And it's given some sort of umbrella energy here. That there's multiple facets up underneath this Hierophant group energy that this masculine is over, okay? And this King of Swords didn't just tell this Hierophant that you were not in alignment or were not worth bringing on. He told that entire community under this umbrella of this Hierophant. And people like this king of swords they consider him to be a king of cups so they trusted his advice i'm telling you he's some sort of advisor he's some sort of consultant and he's done a pretty good job up until he decided that he wanted to shun you and shame you and put you down and say that you was this because that's what he didn't did now to a lot of folks 
So you had a lot of eyes on you. Three of Pentacles. Trying to see exactly how you were going to pan out to be. And I'm telling you, seven months later, we are here. Because this King of Swords was in the Seven of Swords towards you seven months ago. And these people have been watching you. Because he done said so many negative things about you. Okay? Not just to this Hierophant, but to this Four of Wands, Three of Pentacles. And so they were waiting to see. They were waiting to see if you were going to overcome these rumors, the speculation about who you were. They were waiting to see how your wisdom and your guidance and your intelligence was going to continue to shine through. Because I'm telling you now, this Harfin had his eye on you before he brought the idea to this King of Swords to hire you, to offer you a position. He liked your authenticity, but he wanted a second opinion. So, you know, what he initially saw and picked up off of you was accurate. He didn't need a second opinion about you. That's also what he's seeing. Look, because all these people that this King of Cups, King of Swords was talking shit about you too. They have sacrificed this belief that you are slow. I'm telling you, is slow is the first descriptive word he used for you there's something about a lack of intelligence something like maybe you talk like you know shit but you don't really know what you be talking about confirmation because i just got a um notification one second y'all one second so you've accomplished something okay that was confirmation You've accomplished something and people are talking about it, okay? You've had some sort of achievement or victory here that's got you on top of the wheel. And you were supposed to be a five of pentacles now. You may also have Libra or Scorpio in your chart, Pisces as well. But people are talking about in this umbrella of organizations I'm picking up that knew that this hyphen wanted to bring you on as some sort of consultant, but he didn't because he was listening to this King of Swords. They talk about whatever victory that you've had. Nine of Cups was on the bottom. They're talking about some sort of achievement, how you have independently done something big. It's big. You may not even think it's that big, but it's big to these people because for what this King of Swords was saying about you, it ain't no way, no slew foot, shiftless, slow, okay, Ebonics using, slightly ignorant person could have done what you did. But see, those are not the defining characteristics of who you are, okay? So the math wasn't mathing. And it did take about seven months, seven stars on this star card to truly show how in alignment you are how good of an advisor you is okay how divinely guided you be okay because it's something about improper english usage here so I, you know we gonna give them what they want holy spirit since they want to say people can't talk right. We going to show them how much we can't talk right and still spit that divine work on their ass, okay? Because that's what you've been doing. Something that you do or say has gotten you recognition. That's why this hyphen was looking at you in the first place. 
And everybody talking about how you sitting in this Queen of Wands star temperance energy. You may have Sagittarius in your chart as well. And I'm telling you, it's a masculine over this whole Hierophant umbrella network of businesses and organizations. You are probably going to be working with multiple companies doing what he wanted you to do. And now he's trying to consider how he can pursue you. It's a new challenge again to pursue you and give you this offer. And I can't make it up. It's a new challenge. King of Pentacles is falling right up under the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is falling right up under the Eight of Swords because he feels restricted. He know what this damn King of Cups, King of Swords has been telling people about you. So all that's been going to have to be cleaned up. Even though these people are seeing with their own eyes that that's not what you're about. He still put that shit out here about you. Okay? So that's a new challenge for this, this King of Pentacles. To clean up the sully reputation this King of Swords tried to build against you within this corporation. Ten of Pentacles. Because, baby, that's what you can bring to the table. And he know it. Now, he know it for sure. Before, he didn't. He thought you was sitting in the five like this King of Swords claimed to observe off of you. But they know you a ten. They know you a win. So now he got to figure out how he can pull you in. I don't think he... You never got wind of how this boss energy wanted to partner with you. He ain't never even come forward with the offer because of what this King of Cups, King of Swords said now. But I'm telling you, he on his way now. Because he knew what he saw in you from the beginning. He knew you were a golden opportunity. When he peeped you back seven months ago. He trying to figure out how he can get on common ground with you now. And he's wondering if you've heard anything, but you haven't. I'm not getting that you even know. Look, I'm telling you, he wondering if you know what this person said about your work ethic. And if that's going to deter him because you feel this type of way about what this King of Swords was saying about you. But no, you don't know. You don't know these people. You don't know what this King of Swords, King of Cups was doing. I don't think you do. I'm not getting that. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Six of Swords. So you off somewhere doing your own thing, minding your business, three of wands. Your back is turned to all of this. You don't. You haven't caught wind of what was being said about you, nor this secret offer that was being being slated to come towards you but you will be aware of this king of pentacles intentions for you in the future okay and i'm telling you this king of swords might be getting let go of because what ten of wands right behind that because whatever he did with this knight of wands tower energy it caused a setback for this hierophant group and all this king of pentacles is thinking about is what would have been the outcome if you were somebody that he could have consulted instead of this king of swords and he know that you are worthy of a very significant spot on his team this man don't have that many advisors but a new position is about to be open for sure and he's hoping that you'll accept anything else holy spirit anything else anything else four swords You sitting in some sort of 
Like, you really are okay with who you are, what you about. You're very... You're in some sort of serene energy. Like, it don't matter what nobody think about how you talk, what you say, because you know that you're being divinely guided either way. So it's going to come out how it need to come out. Okay? Because love and light is what emanates through whatever you're saying, however you're presenting yourself, whether it's refined in a way that this king of swords approves of or not okay and i'm telling you the judgment is is that you the one you were you the ideal choice and whatever this libra was saying to pass judgment on you got him looking real cryptic to folks Because it's obvious that he was just hating and feeling threatened about his position that he would have been breadcrumbed if they would have brought you into the mix. That's what people are also realizing, that it was some sort of envy about your advising abilities. Because his moon, because his ass, out here giving bad advice to folks and shit causing towers within this organization. So, you know, he, what's, what he really was up to, it's been exposed. His true intentions, it's been exposed. And people know, this whole damn organization know that he was just hating on you, whether you talk, Slow or not, whatever the fuck he talking about, that shit don't matter, okay? Because you giving this at the end of the day. You, look, a, a geisha, a geisha, however you want to say it. Know your history and do your research. I was about to say them hoes, but them hoes had to learn how to damn act, paint, write calligraphy or you know pit they had to know how to write good they know how they had to know how to read they know they had to know how to tell stories they had to be intellectuals they had to be well refined okay so see that's what's been discovered about you that you are quite refined no matter how you present that packaging the the wisdom the, the training, the tutelage, all that's there, okay? You ain't missed no lessons. You was reared and raised right, and people know it. And you do got a bit good business head on your shoulders. Final messages, Holy Spirit. Anything else we need to know here? Scared. This king of swords is scared about his position with this company. It's like he can sense that he about to be let go. He talked all that shit about you. And he done fucked up. Mary done hit the table. You know, you and this um, King of Pentacles, Emperor Energy, then came out here as each other's match twice now. Like, it's really giving partners in business and in love that it could have become that. That's how he's feeling. Like, he done wasted seven months listening to illusions about you. And he like, damn. We might have could have been married by now if I would have followed the plan that I had for her. I'm telling you now, this man is trying to figure out how he can pursue you and, in, and not just in business at this point. It's a thin line between love and hate because this energy that he was in thinking that you was something bad, that was... based off of one person's opinion. And that shouldn't have been enough for him to 
decide not to conference with you, not to use you as some sort of consultant. He realizes that he was wrong. Growth, I'm telling you, in his assumption about you, he feels like this King of Swords manipulated him, bewitched him into thinking that you were someone bad. He loves you. This hierophant energy, I'm trying to tell you now. Because the math just wasn't mathing about who you truly are. Your ability to be a wise counselor yourself. And even it's some sort of abundance that he feels that you and him could have achieved together if he would have brought you on seven months ago because he didn't watch you be abundant on your own but it's like man if if i would have teamed up with her back then it ain't no telling where we both could be at that's his energy i'm telling you that's his energy he almost shamed that he listened to this man about you months ago okay final messages strange and he he wondering what's up with this king of swords that he felt the need to hate on you the way that he did he really felt like this king of swords was on his team but he realized that this man really ain't on his team he about what he want he out for self because if he was truly a part of this hierophant group this network, he will want what's best for the team as a whole. He realizes that his behavior was strange to not want to bring on someone that could have made the group better, could have made the business better. They can't balance their dark side. And this is his conclusion about this King of Swords, King of Cups. Now, this man finna be let go. I keep picking up on it. That's why this Ten of Swords, ten, it came out Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, and then the Empress. Because you about to have his position. It's something like that here. Final myth, God, but God, because I'm telling you, the way this man slandered you, and not just to this King of Pentacles Emperor, but to a whole bunch of other people that work under this umbrella. And God has redeemed you restored honor to your name you ain't the least bit slow shiftless unrefined none of that okay and you about to prosper even more when this king of pentacles presents this opportunity to you Look, they've been, they been peeping you, honey. I'm telling you, this man was saying all kind of shit about you. You really a unicorn energy, but he might even try to call you that. And when I tell you, everybody been watching you for quite some time now to see how things was going to pan out surrounding your name and energy. They've been watching you. This is what they see. They don't see that. They see that, though. Mm-mm. He talked all that shit about you only to be about to be look like replaced by you. Um, But if it doesn't apply, y'all, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.